Oh, the good old days. The good old days for Chevro not Chevrancy, but Kovalev. When his team was intact, when he got along with um, John David Jackson, when he was a world champion. At this time, I guess his head wasn't so gassed in this flick right here because he had only one title at the time, that WBO he has on his waist right there on his, when he fought um, <clears throat> Nathan Cleverly. You know, so, you know, oh, how times have changed. Up to now, we still don't know who Sergey Kovalev's trainer will be. You know what I'm saying? Come um for his next fight when he fights um the, the Shabaransky guy, you know what I mean? But the reason I'm making this video ain't about because trying to reminisce on the good old days with Kathy Diva and uh, main events with John David Jackson there, Don Turner and Igus Klimas on the far left with the Russia jacket. This video is basically about what I've been said from time, man, when I seen Sergey Kovalev and Kathy Diva trying to duck Adonis Stevenson. Talking about their farm. there's other young hungry champions in the in in the division, and Stevenson's 40 years old, so you know basically they were ducking him. Well, Kathy Diva's trying to um, petition the WBO to make that fight between Shabaransky and um, Sergey Kovalev a world title fight. Now this is what I've been said. I bet you the because uh, you know the WBO has already showed you know they already showed that they're willing to do things like that, especially when they made um what was that fight um uh, Miguel Cotto versus uh, Kama guy uh, a world title fight. They put that vacant 154 title on the on the line. You know what I mean? Cotto beat a Kama guy. That was a bullshit fight for a world title fight. Let's be honest, man. None of those two guys, whether it's Kodo and, and Kama guy, deserved to be in a world title fight. Especially coming off of losses, you know what I'm saying? I know Kama guy probably he came off a win, he beat Soto Karras, but that don't get you no title contention for uh, a world title after beating Soto Karras. I mean, who doesn't beat Soto Karras? You know, I mean, even though I thought he was like Soto Karras last fight with Mauricio Herrero, you know, he you could, could make a case for um, Soto Karras winning that fight, you know, but um. Shabaransky hasn't beaten nobody on his comeback trail after being stopped and knocked the fuck out by Sullivan Barrera in seven rounds. Dropped three times total for the fight. He ain't beat nobody. He's fought one guy who was 10 and 15, a dude who got a big belly. The other dude he fought was like 10 and 0. Yes, but the dude was um, basically fighting nobodies. You know what I mean? 10 and 0 with like four KOs. So... That comeback trail doesn't want, um, warrant the man Shabaransky to be fighting in no world title fight. And I'm not even going to go in on the man Kovalev. How you get a world title fight after losing two fights in a row to Andre Ward? Lost two fights in a row, then you get rewarded with a title shot? What the fuck? What's going on, man? What is really good with these sanctioning bodies? And boxing as boxing fans, we should not allow this, you know. Look, even Austin Trout is getting a world title shot after coming off a loss and having a long hiatus being out of the ring more than a year. In a fight that I thought that the man Austin Trout did win, but when you look on black and white on paper, the official record, it states that the man lost. Yes, it's a good look. He's getting another world title shot, you know what I mean? Al Heyman probably putting him in that position because probably he felt also that, you know, Trout won the fight. But no, no, that's not how it goes, man. You know what I'm saying? And Shabaransky is not even ranked in the top 15 by the WBO. You check it. Now, if you told me a fight between Grovesdick and uh, Alexander Grovesdick, who's ranked number one by the WBO, number two is Kovalev. Yeah, but still, Kovalev don't need to be fighting for a world title, but that fight is more warranting of a world title Um opportunity for both guys than Shabaransky versus Sergey Kovalev, you know what I'm saying? Um who else is ranked up in there? Um um uh, Marcus Brown, um Sullivan Barrera and Arthur Betterbeef. All those guys are ranked in the in the top five. And Anthony Anthony Artie's up in there. He's I think he's like number seven in the top ten, you know what I mean? All those guys I mentioned, Marcus Brown, Sullivan Barrera, Alexander Grosdick and Arthur Betterbeef they ranked in the top five of the WBO. You know what I'm saying? Those guys should throw a fit. Those guys should throw a fit at, about this opportunity that Shabaransky and Kovalev are getting. You know what I'm saying? And the WBO, they said they're going to make a ruling and decide whether they'll grant main events that, um, you know, grant them that that, that opportunity for to, for Kovalev to fight a world title because main events, you know, they, they did petition for this, but 
I hope that WBO declines. I hope they really do, man, because that's just giving this guy Kovalev, the fellas y'all call the killer, the crusher. Oh, this, that, oh, oh. man's best win was being a 50 year old B hop. Yeah, that guy, y'all fellas gassed, you know what I'm saying? This guy right here don't deserve no world title shot, man. The man don't even got a trainer as of, as of right now, you know what I mean? You check it, the man showed, you know, he, you know, he was, he, 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 he maybe y'all fellas thought this man was a killer and a tough guy from how he talks like he's a tough dude, you know what I mean? I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it when I want bit, you know what I'm saying? I seen how he goes along with, um, you know, trying to, you know, we already know how he is. I don't even got to rehash those awful things that this guy said out of his mouth, you know what I'm saying? But this guy don't deserve no world title shot. And I said this a few weeks ago, I bet you the WBO would, Make that Shabaransky versus Kovalev fight a world title fight. And sure enough, here go the bullshit, man. Let's hope the WBO comes to their right mind. And they let all those other guys who deserve world title shots who work their way up the rankings. They deserve that shot more than Sergey Kovalev and Shabaransky. Shabaransky ain't never even, not even ranked in the top 15 of the WBO 175-pound rankings. You check it. Put Gravesdick in there with Kovalev. Bet you Kovalev ducked that fight. Be Marsh Box, leave your thoughts and comments. Let me know what y'all think about this debacle, this de this fuckery going on with um main events and Kathy Diva and and and, and this guy Sergey Kovalev. You know what I mean? I'm gone. Leave your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. One.